the leader of the food culture, the leader of the global food craze, is with us now. Lord Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally, I got the title, not uh, King Lord. Ryan, I'm Lord Wolfgang. <laughs> Lord Puck, how are you, my friend? I am excellent. Busy, just got back from the Formula One in Bahrain, and, you know, we have two restaurants there, too, so... Wow. Now I'm here getting ready for the Oscars, so we keep busy. Like you. I, have, I have to ask you, though, and this is something I, I often think about with you. You know, it, the restaurant business is so difficult. You think of all the cities in America. To break through and sustain, you can be amazing. You can be a magician in the kitchen. But to break through and sustain, is it's probably one of the toughest businesses in the world. Why have you been able to do it and continue to do it in every place where you open a restaurant? Well, I think the main thing is for us, we have tradition and innovation, you know? So when people come to a restaurant, you know, they want a smoked salmon pizza or they want a great steak, they know what they get. So the quality is always first. And then if you want to come and say, I want to have a tasting menu and we'll make it for you. And you're going to say, wow, I don't have to go to a three-star restaurant. I can come right to us. Yeah, I, and it's true. No matter, and you also know, no matter where you are traveling, if you see your name associated with the place, you just know you're going to be good. You know what I mean? It's like there's n no second thought that needs mm -hmm. to go into it. Yeah, no, even at the airports, you know, we use the same uh, uh, lettuces, we use the same dressing and the same pizza dough. We don't make the expensive things, uh, uh, but we do, uh, you know, whatever it's not uh, good, we do. Mm. All right, now listen, Wolfgang, Tanya, who's here, she was very excited. She fell in love recently. She was looking for a big night, a celebratory night, an occasion night to go out, and she went to Spago, and... Tanya, go on. Well, it was our it was my first date officially back together with my boyfriend. Yeah. And we were sitting there and you came up to the table and I was like, oh my gosh, how cool. You were going up to every person's table just to say hi and thank you yeah. for, for being there. I thought it was so cool. And we like connected. And I said, oh my gosh, I work with Ryan. He loved you so much. We took a selfie. I sent a text to Ryan. It was like so cute. Yeah. No, no, no. You know what? I feel like people are coming to my house. The restaurant is yeah. just like my home. Yeah, you went to so, every single table. It was yeah, so cool. Yeah, so I say hello to them. And, you know, I appreciate when people come, new people, regular people. You know, I have people who come for 45 years, uh, you know, like they are now 90 years old, like a producer, Irwin Winkler, you know, who did the Rocky movies. The yeah. Oh, wow. stuff, a lot of things. He's 90 years old. He still comes once or, uh, or twice a week to the restaurant and has dinner, you know, for all this time. It's really amazing. And then I'm so glad to have young people like you coming because that's our future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was he, really cool. He's smooth, isn't he? Mm -hmm. All right, Wolfgang, let's talk about it. We got the 94th Oscar Sunday, wow. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, ABC. And then right after that, for me, it's the highlight. It's always the kitchen and the meal that is served. I've been in that kitchen while the Oscars are going on. They're making the meal for all of the nominees and the winners, everybody that's at the Oscars. And then, of course, immediately it's served after the ceremony. But what, what's on your mind for this Oscars meal? Well, first of all, we are so excited to have a great party again. You know, last year they did it down at the Union Station. It was very quiet. Nothing happening. The TV thing was boring. So this year, hopefully, we're going to go all out and really have a a great celebration. And, you know, we're going to always have some of the regular things we do, like from our, you know, smoked salmon Oscars with caviar to our Kobe beef slider. We, this year we got from the Miyazaki Prefecture, we got their beef, their Japanese beef, which is amazing. Then we make the chicken pot pie and we're going to make a uh, cacio pepe farfalle with lobster and put them under a puff pastry thing so <laughs> that it stays nice and hot. We're going to make some vegan dishes like uh, a Kung Pao cauliflower. We also have, and I'm very excited about that, uh, the gastro ghetto. So this, these guys from New York, and they're African-Americans, and they're going to come and cook with us and make chicken with waffles and some cornbread with a little uh, crab and caviar. So I really would like to get more African-Americans involved in cooking in the upscale restaurant business because people are always saying, ah, you know, we only can work in coffee shops or in, in uh, fast food places. And 
to see them that you can make a good living and be well respected in our profession, I think would be a good thing. Absolutely right. And those dishes from start to finish sounds so good. And my stomach has been trained well enough to be able to eat all of those things in one <laughs> sitting. I can eat all yeah. and I can still digest that mm-hmm. night. You know, I like you, Ryan, because not only you're so great on TV, on the radio and for many years, but you love food and wine. And I think for me, that's the right people we have to have at the restaurant. Yes. Absolutely. Well, you are a dear friend, Lord Wolfgang Puck, getting ready for the Oscars. We'll see you soon. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, the king. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.